Good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Monday, February the 6th, and here are today's top headlines. Another homicide overnight in downtown Los Angeles, the third killing there in just 24 hours. Police working to figure out if the deaths are connected. Details on the investigation. And more than 1,000 people believed to be dead after a massive earthquake strikes Turkey and Syria. Hundreds of buildings across the region are completely destroyed. Rescue crews now digging through the rubble to find survivors. Plus, powerful gusts tear through Southern California, bringing down trees and crushing cars. We're tracking this morning's very windy weather. Early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starts right now. And good morning to you on this Monday. I'm Chris Schauble. I'm Megan Henderson. We appreciate you being with us. We're going to check your rose of ginger yes. coming up. First, let's talk about uh, the wind. Yeah, uh, really windy. I oh. mean, extremely gusty conditions. Yeah. Some areas, in fact, some areas that generally we get windy conditions, uh -huh. uh, a, a little calmer. So it's kind of, yeah. So not so much in Santa Cruz. That I noticed. Right. I'm sure someone's like, what are you talking about? It's, mm. But I just didn't notice. I, I understand completely. In your area and where you traveled this morning, same with me. And we usually get the windy conditions yeah. when we talk about it. So it's affecting, I mean, I don't know what's happening, but it's affecting Meg. I know, right? <laughs> so, Zero which, sleep. It was bad. So, I know. And it, it is no laughing. Yeah, no, I'm than, like, rah! Usually we're talking about weather and Meg's yeah. like, I didn't get dropped. Yeah. It wasn't windy at all. Yeah, it hit How about me. you? Was it windy for you? No, uh, not so much. Yeah, uh, yeah. it was over, just <laughs> over my house, pretty so, much. <laughs> but, but again, I think that illustrates the point. Here. Yeah. We have areas where the winds are extremely strong, yeah. keeping people up, blowing things Put around. Down it, trees in Hollywood, yeah. So. Exactly. So it is a very serious matter, especially when we're talking about things like down trees. And uh, also, hey, maybe it's trash day for you. So you put the trash cans out last night and it's windy. Things of that nature. Just those inconveniences that often come with the winds, and we have them. Wind gusts up to about 45 miles per hour in the San Fernando Valley, 15 to 25 downtown, but we know up against the foothills, much stronger. The IE 35, parts of inland Orange County 40. So again, it's kind of hit or miss with some areas being affected, but everyone, at least in these forecast areas, and that's what we do, we break them down into certain zones or areas, everybody getting some semblance of winds. We'll talk more about the winds today, the rest of the week. We'll give you all those details in a few minutes. Ginger, we'll get it over to you. Yeah, and we, of course, had light snow at like 245 in the Gorman area, so that could still be a factor later on. I think it will get that warm up and hopefully not for your later morning commute. But we do have a situation that continues to be very difficult. I think it was about 2.20 this morning when this fatal crash actually happened with a couple of cars at 101 northbound side at Lancashire. And so with the lanes that are stopped here, I mean, a lot of people may opt to take, say, uh, Coenga as a way to get around it, but they're saying that they may not release those lanes until about 4.45 or what they'll do is release a lane or two. Just depends, but you see the slowing is here. We'll move you over to look at something that could be, you know, wind related. We're talking about 405 South and about Santa Monica Boulevard. It's debris <coughs> kicking in and out of the right lane, and so that's the reason we just watch it for everybody if your plans take you here, which normally can be a busy stretch, but it is a little bit early. All right, guys, back to you. Breaking news, the death toll is increasing after a 7.8 magnitude earthquake destroyed buildings in Turkey near the border with Syria. It struck late last night in the southeastern part of Turkey. A survivor was pulled out of crumbled buildings this morning. More than 1,500 people have died across Turkey and Syria because of the earthquake. The earthquake's epicenter was estimated to be 11.